astrology is a great science. And as it always happens with the practitioners of great science that they have to be very, very careful, right? And before predicting anything or suggesting a remedy, we have to be very careful regarding multiple things, right? So what happened? Over the time, see, if a planet is good, you will suggest gemstones for the planet if the planet is bad. Sorry, if the planet is weak. If the planet is bad, you cannot recommend a gemstone for the planet. You will recommend mantra and yantra for the planet. The uses of mantra and yantra together is tantra, right? In both of these cases, it is just not sufficient to wear the gemstone or just do the mantra and yantra. Until and unless there is real change in the nature, behavior, character of the person, nothing significant can be expected. And because it all comes from inside. Talk of anything, be it marriage, profession, or any area of life. There is something that is needed from your part also. What is that? This is the question. Many a times what happens, you cannot give remedy for a planet outright. For an example, you say Mercury is situated in ascendant, but lord of bad houses. Now being lord of bad houses, you cannot recommend a remedy straight to the person. But being situated in the ascendant where Mercury will get directional strength, provided the fact that it is, you say, with a malefic or expected by malefics or inimical planets, this Mercury is suffering, is in problem, and now you have to recommend remedy, but general remedies you cannot go with. Even if you give mantra for the mantra to the person to chant and you give yantra to establish, until and unless there is a change from inside, this mantra, yantra, and gemstones are not going to work, right? You see, when you see the worship procedure, there are always internal things, right? Meditation, concentration, calmness of mind and all of these things. And only after that, these practices work. Right? So what I am going to tell you today is the behavior of Mercury throughout the houses. And this I take inside correcting the karma. So it is twofold purpose. First of all, it gives you an outlook of how Mercury will behave throughout the houses in a horoscope. Secondarily, if you want to reap the benefits of Mercury, if you want to have good result from Mercury, you have to follow Mercury. See, this is the basic concept behind any remedy. That the planet will give you result and if planet is not giving you that result, you get that particular result by yourself. For example, a good Venus will give you a luxurious life. But if you are not having a good Venus, there is no luxuries in life. In that scenario, you can use you know, different tactics to get luxuries in your life. Or if that is difficult, then you can activate other traits of Venus to get the result of Venus, which is lacking. Right? So this is like wearing a gemstone. By wearing a gemstone, you are wearing something that is represented by the planet. And by having the qualities of planet through the gemstone in your body, the planet will strengthen and the best thing to do it is behaving according to the planet. This is one of the greatest remedy, classically supported also, that if you start behaving like a planet, that planet will automatically strengthen. This is why astrology is a super science because multiple things are connected to planets and you will see one thing impact the other thing. And this is a truth because of which astrology is a super science. You say if Mars indicates blood pressure and Mars also indicates activity. So a lot of activity of Mars indicates anger also. So a lot of anger will increase blood pressure. And then Mars indicate blood pressure, right? So this is a super science in this way that long ago when no one in the world knew about blood pressure and And it were our sages who knew the connection and they wrote it. Right. So this is why astrology is a super, super science. And as I told you, you have to behave like a planet to be in synchronization with the planet. To do the right and correct karmas. So that the planet gives you the desired result, whatever he is promising in your horoscope. In fact, if the planet is promising something bad in the horoscope, then 
by aligning with the positive traits of the planet you can attract positive things from the planet that the planet will eventually give you because the planet is having no enmity to you he is going to give you result only and if you are in synchronization of synchronization with those elements which will you know attract positive uh, influ positive influences of the planet it will give positive influence also right there is no two thoughts about it right so we will understand how this mercury works thought houses and what you need to do to reap the results good results of mercury and it is for everyone right if the mercury is weak it will strengthen the mercury if the mercury is well placed not giving the result it will make sure that mercury gives the result and everyone according to the house their mercury is situated in they should behave as per the house it will strengthen the mercury purify the mercury and correct all the karmas in such a way so that your karmas are aligned with each other to attract the positive results of mercury right that is the basic point now if the mercury is in ascendant then one should behave like mercury right and when we are talking of behavior a planet may indicate bad behavior also but because our purpose is to attract good result of the planet only we will be talking about good things only mercury in the ascendant it can make the person very childish so first of all don't remain childish right you should have seriousness in whatever you do things like you know i did this out of fun i did this out of curiosity should not be done everything should be well thought secondarily mercury in the ascendant person is very quick in taking credit but when things go wrong they put blame on others don't do that be a leader take the credit in the last and if something goes wrong acknowledge it thirdly person thinks that he owes things right like everything owes something everyone owes something to him and people should give things to him this should not be in your approach you should be very decisive about what is yours and what is not otherwise it will be problematic mercury in the ascendant also indicates intelligence so this person should have a constant habit of reading thinking that will be beneficial and most importantly you see mercury is always close to sun sun indicates the father so mercury in the ascendant one should remain as close to father as possible one should listen to the advices of father wholeheartedly otherwise this mercury can put you into these conditions where it will be very difficult to make a choice other than that mercury in the ascendant one thing is there mercury have a very emotional type of voice right mercury is a type of person who if he is cracking a joke he will crack the joke he will start telling the joke in between he will laugh and after that he will complete the sentence right so it is a very a very emotional type of person who when talking is completely into the talk so this nature should also be developed right person having a plain face and telling a joke is a saturnian trait not a mercurian trait so proper mercurian trait should also be developed that is be completely engaged in what you are talking about to whom you are talking about right be very much engaged into it that is another trait of mercury that you should follow right and mercury in ascendant one more thing is there the person you see mercury is greatly supported by venus in all his endeavors so person should have a neat and clean life he should bath daily wear clean clothes and should keep his room tidy right not taking bath properly skipping bath being lazy waking up late in the morning is problematic for mercury so that should be completely avoided then you will get the good results of mercury now whatever results i have told you for good if mercury is afflicted in the ascendant just the opposite result will happen the person will be lazy untidy right so the same thing whatever i told you to correct this will already be corrected if mercury is good in the ascendant this will already be good in the nature of the person and if mercury is afflicted things will be just opposite this way it should be understood and this way it will help you in prediction of help you in predicting the results of mercury in ascendant as well now when mercury comes to second house first of all one should be very careful about their finances 
very careful as in they should maintain a diary of income and expenditure right they should not carelessly spend money or they should not be ignorant about you know ignorant about from where the money is coming and from where they are spending it secondarily as i told you mercury remains close to sun in the second house also this person should be close to their father should serve their father should follow the advice of their father at least should follow the philosophy of their father that will be good second house indicating speech these people should talk very cleverly they should only talk about things they really know making assumptions or talking about those things they don't have much information about should be avoided you should have a practice of remaining silent if you don't know the topic fully and only talk when you have proper appropriate authority mercury in the second house one should eat variety type of food for example if you are eating vegetable at least two type of vegetables should be there right rice and chapati both of these things should be there so mixture of food will be very good to consume if there is mercury in the second house and most importantly this person should have a very jolly nature everything he should say very sweetly right even if they are you know telling bad for someone or they are criticizing someone they should do it in such a way that one should feel good into it right it's like the tone of speaking should be like you know it should be jokingly told it should be light heartedly told anything that they are trying to convey that will be better and whenever they are talking about serious things don't talk without facts right talking just based on suspicion or talking talking just based on assumption is not good when mercury is going into third house first of all one should be devoted a devotion is very necessary in life a regular spiritual practice is very necessary in life these people should have good relationship with their siblings try to maintain good relationship with their siblings specifically comparison with siblings should not be done point 1 secondarily verbally telling anything bad to siblings criticizing siblings should be avoided especially good relationship with cousins and other female siblings of the family daughters of the sister of father good relationship with them should be maintained cheating deception harsh word cruel words you should not say to them one should have limited friend circle and they should not make you know like college friend home friend this type of, many type of friendship multiple friendship which is not serious they should not have they should maintain you know good level of friendship like you know one best friend type of setup they should have many friends are problematic for them most importantly blaming the siblings for things that you know blaming the sibling should be avoided putting your work that was your responsibility on the shoulder of the siblings should be avoided and one should in the matters and responsibilities of family one should share you know the responsibilities with their siblings they should not let their siblings do anything alone which is for the family and they should you know put their contribution to it then it will be mercury in fourth house one should take care of mother should maintain good relationship with siblings of mother specifically the sister of mother they should have good relationship with studying about architectures vehicles is good specifically with respect to mercury in third house and fourth house watching bad things you know fights and all of these violence things and pornography etc should be avoided at all cost otherwise this is very problematic mercury in the fourth house one should have a habit of reading things before sleeping or at least like before sleeping reading reading book is good consumption of knowledge is good one should have a habit of writing and at least you know one two pages if they write every week even if it is to you know take records of whatever have happened in their life daily diary diary writing type of setup is very very good they should avoid all type of litig they should avoid get going into any type of litigations with respect to family members etc and try try to solve it with mutual agreement only otherwise this mercury in the fourth house is problematic most importantly with 
mercury in the fourth house i generally recommend people to you know keep water in thermostatic steel bottle around their head before sleeping and after waking up drink this water first that is a very good remedy that i have miraculously seen working with this mercury in the fourth house and this will strengthen the mercury make sure that you get the good results of this particular mercury what will be the good results that you will know by analysis and multiple videos are there on my channel regarding analysis so that you can watch mercury in the fifth house have a habit of reading spiritual books intellectual books self help books motivational books you should read specifically poetry and poetry philosophy and fiction one should read reading bhagavad gita is very good one should share one should try to guide people whoever comes to them for help see for you if you want to strengthen your mercury make sure not to give an asked advice to anyone but if someone comes to you with genuine care with genuine question if someone comes to you with genuine query and if you have knowledge related to subject you should try to help them also distributing your knowledge to the world you know by making videos and all of these things is recommended this will be applicable to mercury situated in the fifth house aspecting the fifth house with the fifth lord aspecting the fifth lord all of these cases it will be applied to right the same result will be applied to so share your knowledge to people share your intelligence to people and you should have a habit of analyzing things right if you are going to do anything take some time and do research for example if you are you know like if you are wanting to uh, you know like is a invest in something then at least sit and make two years chart over it that how beneficial it is or it is not so do things only after a proper analysis then it will be good then it will be better most importantly helping children get the basic knowledge of reading writing learning is very necessary right and sharing your experiences with people and world is also very good daily maintaining a diary is also essential that is good that also should be done mercury in sixth house don't get in litigations fights arguments with your family members specifically the siblings of your mother if possible in the time of distress try to help the siblings of your mother financially or by doing any service to them and all of these things make sure that you do not get your home get the works of home done by the employee of the office or vice versa right so keep the departments of the servant very clear don't mix it try not to speak things which can be hurtful to people and don't put your mind into enmity jealousy or revenge then the mercury in the 6th house will give you good results most importantly mercury in the 6th house while communicating like try to talk to the point only and talking about things which are not concerned with the matter you should avoid all right be precise be to the point and talk in a limited amount is good don't tell people much about yourself and most importantly keep your friend circle limited keep people who have an intervention in your personal life keep them very very limited share limited information only that much which is necessary otherwise it will be it will not be good mercury in the seventh house one should go walking spending some time in a nearby park or public place they should do if they see someone needy in outside like you know on roads if they see someone needy who needs you know help in crossing the road or who need any type of help or any type of you know mental help or physical help right like if someone is not able to you know you go to a bank and someone is not able to fill a form you help them doing it these things are good going on trips with your friend is good but do not let your friends intervene too much in your personal life having friend circle spending time with friend circle having a very good best friend and sharing everything with them and having their opinion is something that should be done right but you should not use your intellect or your thinking to criticize people or make bad jokes about them specifically you know like 
laughing on people making jokes on them and you know there are some people who will name others hilariously and do these things which will eventually become popular generally mercury in the seventh house people do this right they will name someone something funny and people will laugh over it but these tendencies should be avoided specifically verbal fights arguments with your life partner should be avoided and never try to bully your life partner verbally at all that will be good sleep facing the eastern direction it is better to use green colored things in your bedroom green colored bed sheet curtains etc should be used with mercury in the 7th house make sure that in the evening you do some worship that is very very necessary and with mercury in the ascendant do worship in the morning that is very very necessary so morning evening worship visiting temple or just remembering the god is very necessary and with mercury in the ascendant and the seventh house at least for 5 minutes in the morning and evening you should sit silent meditate on your breath that is also very necessary and very important is what i think and helping people with gadgets like if someone is having any technical difficulty because they are old or they don't have experience with things helping people with that is very good right and one should consume social media very carefully not to consume things which are harmful right like scenes related to violence and vulgarity these things should be avoided at all cost the person may have a habit of spending too much time on social media computer and all of these things and ignore what is their duty this should be avoided at all cost then mercury in the 7th house will give you good results mercury in 8th house you see mercury constantly keeps on going combust retrograde combust retrograde he constantly keeps on getting this right so mercury in second house and mercury in eighth house first of all you should make a plan it is bit natural that things will not work the way you wanted it to work then generally what people do they give it up they are like let's again let's let's see what is what will happen let's leave it whatever will happen we will see this is something that have to be avoided you should first of all make a plan and if that plan is not going as planned you should you know think of improvements in fact i will tell you make plan a b c d e f together right make a complete planning that we are going to do this if this fails we will do this if that fails we will do that make this type of setup then it will be good it will be very good for you people suffering from skin related issues you should donate them try to help them that will also be very very good specifically orphanages young children you should help them if anyone is needing things if things related to education is needed that should be donated donation of books right stationery items copies etc is needed is good to the needy people donating these things is good occasionally even after growing up one should have an habit of visiting school right so either you can keep on visiting your old school or you can you know like keep on visiting the school of your children on you know regular occurrence on pay, uh, parents teacher meeting and all of these things is necessary and if that is not possible at least right you can go to a school and donate things to under privileged people there so this should be done with mercury in the 8th house and this is what i have seen it works very greatly most importantly with mercury in the 8th house you should do something for the protection of soil and protection of the earth specifically you know maintaining cleanliness and making people aware about the you know the problems that is caused by you know leaving things on ground you say oil and petrol and these things if one you know just dumps them on the ground or leaves them on the ground what are the ill effect of it educating people about it and trying to you know stop these things right like if someone is throwing some garbage in the open you should try to stop them you should try to teach them this you should try to do this way you will be doing good karmas that will help mercury in the 8th house shine mercury in the 9th house one should be devoted to lord vishnu one should have a habit of reading religious spiritual philosophical texts 
specifically reading of Bhagavad Gita, Rama and Vishnu Purana, Sri Madhav Bhagavatam is very, very good. Donation of religious items also highly recommended. Visiting temple, if possible, should be done. Specifically, Tirtha Yatra pilgrimage, going with your friends and people in your neighborhood is very good. Try to help people in your neighborhood. This also applies to Mercury in the third house. Try to help people in your neighborhood. Maintain good relationship with them. And uh, try to help your father in business, finances and accounting. Talk sweetly with your father. Don't argue with your father or don't talk bad about your father. That is bad. In fact, about anyone who is respectable, you should not talk bad about any respected person. Otherwise, it will be very problematic. Try to help in the programs of the government. Try to help if any NGO or any governmental organization is doing something good for the welfare of the society. You should participate in that. And most importantly, with Mercury in the ninth house, one should only one should guide people but guide people with proper knowledge only these people should avoid the habit of you know telling anything to anyone even things that you don't know just saying things based on assumption should be avoided first of all get complete knowledge then properly guide people guiding people is necessary but with proper knowledge it should be done otherwise it can come as a problem mercury in the 10th house Professionally, whatever you do, do it with much care because Mercury in the 10th house person have a habit of doing some very silly mistakes in their profession. Other than that, help your elders. First of all, maintain cordial relationship with people from your father's side of family, right? Grandfather, grandmother, siblings of your father have good cordial relationship with them. Right? Guide people with your like guide and motivate people. Like if someone in depressed condition comes to you, guide them, motivate them and always say things which are motivational. Be focused on whatever you are doing and like, you know, do one thing at a point of time. Be focused on whatever you are doing and always try to uplift your skill by getting new knowledge. Maintain a general of your daily experiences. If possible, take some one, one and a half hour every day for reading. It is very good if one can, you know, if one can go on walk every morning and evening, this is very good. You should have a disciplined life and you should have a timetable that you regularly follow. Constantly changing your lifestyle and things that you do, constantly changing your timings of doing uh, timings, Timing of doing things is not recommended. That should be avoided. Whenever possible, work something for the welfare of underprivileged children, orphans, and people suffering from skin-related issues. Do something for them. Any type of service, if that can be done, should be done. Mercury in the 11th house, help people with finances. Anyone who comes to you for, you know, like taking a financial advice, Help them properly. Writing something daily, be it a poetry or daily general, is very, very good. Wake up early in the morning, maintain a very good discipline. Always talk in a praising sense, right? Even if you have to say someone that, you know, why you came late to office. You start with that, though every day you come on time, but today you became late. Why it is so? In this particular way, always start with a good sentence. Always start with a good sentence. That will be good. Always try to motivate people. Never, never try to put people into you. Know, never try to criticize people or never try to bully people. Otherwise, it will be problematic for you. Especially, one should practice meditation, breath control exercises one should do. And... Donation of clothes also with respect to Mercury in 9th house, 3rd house and Mercury in 9th house. Donation of clothes, specifically green clothes is good. Donation of stationary items, books and sports equipment, right? whether be it a bat, hockey stick to people who play hockey or cricket or it is a donation of chess, ludo, carambo, such things should be done to needy people. 
mercury in the 11th house i also recommend people to you know have a habit of playing something at home chess and all of these things you can play with your friends or your partner on a daily basis that or like once a week type of setup you should have like have some time out for you know mutual enjoyment right and at least have someone by your side to whom you share all of your ideas and share all of your thoughts and take their advice this you should do with mercury in the 11th house it will give you good results mercury in the 12th house have a reading habit right read things and more than reading things think about things right first of all be sensitive to the society right i have done it because i wanted to such approach should not be taken right do things after proper thinking only have a habit of reading and more than reading have a habit of contemplation try try to practice meditation daily keep your environments and surrounding clean have good relationship with people around you don't criticize people don't give much attention to enmity and don't think negatively about things have a positive attitude towards life even if you have done something bad think in a way that next time i will not do it always think of self improvement that will be better often like once a month or once in two months one should try to remain silent for one day or for half a day so this maun vrat is something that is very very essential and until and unless you know about thing and until and unless you have first hand experience don't talk about things specifically be careful about not guiding people properly in fact be careful about misguiding people right never do it and whenever possible donate for orphanage people suffering with skin diseases people having people who have suffered any type of calamity in life like birth of parents or destruction of everything partition etc right try to help these people with everything possible like whatever you can do donation of money donation of clothes spending time with them doing service for organizations helping them that should be done reading spiritual books bhagavad gita ramayan bhagavad puran vishnu puran will be very good right keep on donating donation is a very good habit with mercury in the 12th house specifically you know purchasing some books school uniform things which are needed for students right you purchase them and you distribute them it is very good feeding birds freeing birds serving birds if you find any you know wounded bird like then taking them to hospital animal hospital or whatever is there right taking care of specifically flying animals you know giving them food water is very good gardening maintaining flowers at your home visiting gardens parks parks is good along with that with mercury in the 12th house try to guide people with your knowledge and help them take better decisions and improve their life using your knowledge and advice this you do this way your mercury will give you good results right so my basic purpose my basic point behind it is that many a times what happens in a consultation you cannot give remedy to people in form of gemstones or chanting of mantra directly so then these things as per the planet in houses can be given and provided the fact that one rigorously follows these things that i have told you you will see that slowly slowly in the personality nature behavior character of the person there will be positive changes which will attract the positive influence of mercury in all these 12 houses because of which their life will significantly improve whatever i have told if it is rigorously followed for one one and a half year you yourself will see the result in yourself this is correcting your nature behavior and character in such a way so that you are synchronized with the best possible result of mercury as per your horoscope you do this for one one and a half year and see the change in your life yourself as i always say without suitable changes in the mind thought thinking and behavior of the person no remedy is going to work so this is the first step of psychological change in behavior mentality and thinking that you should do first after that any remedy you will do it will be four times more powerful that is my experience 
you follow my words and experience it yourself